Okay, this video is going to be on Kenny King, and uh, yes, we are on day number six of this one video per day. And uh, besides the point, uh, big news yesterday that Kenny King, he had debuted uh, on Impact as the uh, X Division Ultimate X uh, thing for the X Division title. And he won, and he looked good in the process, and he looked like a legitimate star who you could see uh, in a future... Uh, as a future world champion, in TNA at least. And obviously this came as a surprise to the wrestling world because, you know, nothing was really said on the internet really mentioning this. Besides, when you look back on it, Kenny King's Twitter did say, you know, once everything had happened, you really saw what some of his tweets meant, such as, um, if you don't like something, change it, or um, big things are coming, watch out for whatever. But here's a little statement <coughs> ROH put out. Uh, they took it down uh, today, but it was on there yesterday. I'll just go over it a little bit, but um, I'll try reading as fast as possible. Uh, the appearance of ROH wrestler Kenny King on another television wrestling program tonight has raised speculation on the future uh, and how this appearance could occur. Uh, the contract was signed, Kenny King signed a contract June 2011 for, I guess, one year. And it expired 11 years ago, but that's all I'm going to read. Uh, yeah, I'll explain it. I don't have to read it. But pretty much, he signed a one-year contract, and I remember this because this is around the time they signed with um, the uh, Sinclair group. It was around the summertime, and I remember the A and X both signed, and then um, I was like, man, I'm surprised they're signing. But now, one year's gone by, and the thing is, he was working pretty much not under contract. <clears throat> And he won the belts pretty much, I think it was the day before his uh, his contract actually expired. Him and Red Titus became the tag team champions. And I think this was a way for, you know, um, ROH to say, you know, we gave you the belt, we were putting faith in you, the only way to go really here is up, so sign again. And obviously, when you're a free agent, just word gets around so fast, and I'm sure there's some ties in ROH and TNA, and someone got a hold of Kenny King and... You know, he was brought up there. And uh, Kenny also, uh, he negotiated with ROH to, he'll he'll stay with ROH, but not sign a contract. But he's open to other companies shooting him offers. ROH agreed to it. And uh, I think I'm going to go back to this thing. Because it said that he contacted ROH on Tuesday, July 3rd, to inform us that he had a meeting in Orlando on Thursday, July 5th. Which was uh, within the scope of the agreement that he had made. Then early morning of July 5th, he contacted ROH official and say that he was he would be wrestling uh, in the Orlando event that night. He was told that he did not have permission to appear live on television and it violated the con uh, the agreement he had made. His response was that the deal he had shaken hands on and the agreed to in principle, quote unquote, seemed fair at the time, but others, it was not, and he did not intend to honor it. So pretty much, in a way, Kenny King is looking out for himself. Um, do I blame him? Of course not, because, you know, ROH is almost like a proving ground for other companies. If you can make it an ROH, you can, I guess, it, it can elevate you for the bigger stage. Take Claudio Castagnoli, take Chris Hero, take Brian Danielson, take Chris CM Punk, Samoa Joe, Jay Lethal. Guys like that who have worked ROH and just became stars after that. But on the other hand, it's um, ROH is kind of dumb for really giving him a belt and giving him just the overall agreement to work on not under contract, but expect so much out of him as if he was under contract. So it's not like they kind of screw themselves over, and it kind of shows that it's really they put too much faith and too much trust into their wrestlers to really be loyal to them when you know this is a doggy dog world, and if he's getting you know. $10 here and, and, you know, $50 over there, of course he's going to go uh, to the $50 thing. And this raised, this made me think of, uh, I was listening to The Art of Wrestling with Gabe Sapolsky, and he was uh, talking about one guy who um, they were paying $50 a night to wrestle in, and the other promoter contacted that one wrestler and said, hey, we'll give you $275 plus another, like, 500 on top of it to... A, ditch the one company you're with, and B, wrestle for our company. And the wrestler told Gabe that, hey, this is what the deal is. And then Gabe said, hey, you know, why, what can I do? This is your career. You're going to build it yourself. 
and if it was the right decision or not, you know, that's that's soon to be, you know, soon to happen. Soon you find out if it was the right decision or not. And I think this is the same thing with Kenny King. You obviously, I think, with the circumstances that he won the match, and two, there's such big, um, just big controversy around the decision. I do think that he had signed a contract with TNA. Whether he wins or not, I think he will be appearing regularly on that television program. Considering how over he was, he did a great job with that. He cut a great promo. The announcers were putting him over like crazy. So I can see Kenny King with with a prolonged future in TNA. Um, as for his success, that's another story. You know, everyone thought that Nigel McGuinness, a.k.a. Desmond Wolf, was going to be huge. He came in, he feuded with Kurt Angle, and that's... It was a dream match for everyone, including myself. But obviously with a few uh, twists and turns along the way, uh, that, that path can really just lead to just total failure. And you will end up back to where you started, which is Ring of Honor. And that, I think, is just part of the wrestling business. And he's really taken a big chance by being in the bad books of a company that pretty much gave him a chance when no one else really would. Because WWE cut him, you know, he was doing indies, and then he became just one of the main guys of the new ROH. You know, I don't want to say the old ROH, because, you know, I think the new ROH, when they signed with Sinclair, Kenny King and Red Titus are really those guys that you look at, and you say, you know, these guys um, are like the stars of this this new ring of honor. And you're kind of throwing that all away. And, you know, by reading the last paragraph, um, I'll show that. Ring of honor is disappointed that Kenny had chosen to cho make this decision after the company had agreed to and followed through on everything he had asked for at the time of our negotiation. However, we consider this breach of his verbal agreement unacceptable and regardless of his future employment status with another wrestling company, ROH will not be doing business with Kenny King going forward. A statement with ROH will forthcoming will be forthcoming regarding the future of the ROH World Tag Team Champion. Cole Holder Red Titus is, remains active. So right there you can see there is some animosity, publicly, public animosity, that ROH is not pleased and, you know, they have a point but then again they're kind of stupid themselves. But B, you know, what would, you know, what would any wrestler do? You know, you're, you're on the number three show and you got an offer from the number two show. Whether it be, you know, as a jobber thing, you're going to get on TV and you're going to get exposure. So that's just going to make your stock go up. So, you know, I, I don't want to say, you know, shame on Kenny, but, you know, we'll see how it works. I'm excited to see what happens because I can see Kenny King as a, as a very, very successful person in that company because he can do all that's needed to be done to be successful. It's like an Austin Aries. He can high fly, he can wrestle, and he, he's got the size, he's got the look, he's got the talent. You know, that's, that's just tailor-made for success. And uh, let me know what you guys think, for those of you who know who Kenny King is. Not, <laughs> sorry. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in, in the next video.